This is Danny Flexen for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by a former world title challenger, European champion, British champion, of course, Gavin McDonald. Gavin, how are you doing? Good, mate. All good, yeah. Glad to hear it. Got a big fight coming up um, next week against Andoni Go uh, Gago for the European featherweight title. It's your opportunity to become a two-weight European champion. Yeah, um, yeah, a week away. Just over a week. It's a nice feeling to be uh, back in the big fights. The, the feeling of uh, how it all feels, you know what I mean? It, it's been a while, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, was it like a, a conscious decision to go on the smaller shows for a couple of fights and then go back into a big fight? I know you were on Steffi's shows the last couple of times after the, the defeat in the world title fight. I think, and that is how it all is. Um, you, you know what I mean? Like, when you're in the big fights, uh, the big promoters, when, when you've got a little bit of whiff, obviously... They want you on their shows, and uh, when you get beat, uh, same with everybody, you get beat, take a step back, uh, next one comes in, they get the chances, and you've got to rebuild, and, and that's where I was. Um, obviously, then pandemic hits, um, throws a spanner it works for everyone. Um, so it's just one of those you just got you just got to rebuild yourself back up. Luckily enough, I'm I'm a mandatory for European, and. Uh, and we get another roll of the dice in the big in the big fights. It's been delayed a bit that fight. Obviously, you, you mentioned the pandemic that hasn't helped anyone. How have you managed to kind of keep sharp, train, and, and keep motivated during the last kind of 12, 12 months? It's, in all fairness, it's uh, the fight's always been there. Like if I, if the fight wasn't there, I well, want mandatory would have been hard. Um, like like for everybody else, but it's always been there. So I've always had. I've always known it's going to happen. Whether it be uh, if it, if it had gone for another year, it still would have been the same. Uh, it's not like I'm fighting a, a young, a young fresh, fresh. The, the, the kids similar to me, probably are slightly older. So we're both in the same boat. Nobody's fighting, and um, it's one of those. Everyone's in the same boat. You've just got to do the best you can. But I'm, I, I love my training, and um, I'm always active whether I'm fighting or not. So for me, it was a case of just, just being me. Did you feel you'd been forgotten about a little bit over the last year? Obviously, you've only ever lost at the very, very top level. You beat Gamal Yafai, who's since gone on to win the European title at Super Bantam, your old belt. You're still very much a world-class fighter and a contender, but people didn't seem to be talking about you as much, maybe, for the last year. Yeah, man. It's the same with a lot of fighters. A lot of fighters get forgotten about, and you've got to make keep yourself relevant. Out, out of the uh, the fight, uh, the fight scene in the fight, I, I'm not really. Do um, I mean, I just get about my business, keep myself to myself. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not outspoken. Do you know what I mean like people wouldn't know what, what I would be on with? So um, unless I'm fighting people, they don't really see much of me. But um, that, that that that's where I want to uh, approve folk wrong. Do you know what I mean and, and and really say, look, I'm. I'm still here. I'm going up to February, and um, I want to make an impact on the, the the last the last eighteen months of my career. What was the thinking behind moving from Dave Coldwell, where you'd enjoyed some some success, of course, and then going back to to Steffi Ball? Um, they they sort of want me to to think about knocking on Ed, and um, Steffi's my best my best friend out of out of boxing. You know, I mean, he's my best friend, so. Um, I spoke with Steffi and, and, and I didn't really want to put uh, put an end to, to, to the boxing. Um, I went down there and he agreed with me. And um, and Steffi's like this, he'd, he'd tell me straight if, 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 if what I would done. And he said to me, uh, he said, no, Gav, there's still plenty there, just big nights, you know what I mean? So uh, we, we obviously pandemic hit, um, but we've still been in gym when we've been allowed and, uh, and, and working on things. And I'm loving it down there. Um, do you know what I mean? It, it, it's all falling into place, and, and and it's a dream to be working with Steffi and Ray and and, and around the fighters down there. Uh, Terry's leading the way, and it's one of those. I've really got a spring in my step, and, and I'm looking forward to it. Who have you been um, sparring with for the majority of the rounds leading up to this one? We've had loads in, do you know what I mean? Like, um, there's obviously everybody in the gym, we're mixing it in with everyone. Um, the kid's tiny and it's hard to really get, but we've got young Connor. He, he's a little whippersnapper. 
Um, just for size, he, I mean, he's only like about, he weighs about eight stone, um, but we just had him for size. But then again, it's just everybody um, who's been coming in gym, just been mixing in with everyone. Um, you know what I mean? I can't reel everyone off the top of my head because I forget somebody, but um, we've had loads of sparring. Um, and it's a case of getting myself in the best possible shape, physically, mentally. The best me will beat him. Um, every day of the week I, and, and I, I know that so all I've got to do is concentrate on myself and then uh, turn up and, and perform on the night yeah I mean I was looking for the odds earlier but I couldn't find them they might not have been put out yet for your fight but I would imagine you'd be the favourite you've mixed in a much higher class you've held the title before on yeah. lower weight he's a good fighter but quite limited it seems and, and seems to have yeah. quite a padded record as well like, I don't like looking into things too much. I, I really have picked him up and, and to, to the extent where I, I probably made him a lot better than he is in, in my own mind. But now it's the case of the work done. I've got to draw the confidence and I genuinely believe that he ain't in my league. Um, do you know what I mean? I've mixed it a lot higher level, proven. Um, I'm, I'm more than the European level, whereas he might not be. I don't know. The, the couple of kids he's, he's fought on. It, there's no depth in him. You know I mean, I know I beat him and beat them well, uh, but he's European champion. And then one thing you they don't get that title away. I mean, at the minute that's my dream, and uh, and he's in my way. So you don't give them titles away. And he's champion for a reason. He's going to raise his game against a fire like myself, and uh, and 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 they'll bring the best out of me. But I do plan on beating him and beating him well. And talking of dreams, obviously longer term, I'm guessing you'd love another world title shot up at uh, 126. How do you think the world champions there compare to the guys you fought for the world title at uh, 122? There's only four pounds difference, I mean, but um, they are good. Do you know what I mean? Like, same as anything, do you know what I mean? But I'm one of those fighters, if I, I take the fight, I'd, I'd only take the fight if I, I genuinely believe I could beat them. And um, that that's the dream uh, world title. Um, I want to I, I want to beat this uh, European champion, and, and that's and that's what I want. I, I want to crack at a world title, and uh, in an ideal world, um, Jazza Dickens and um, mm. Kid Gallagher are fighting. And um, ideally, if it were, if it were me, that that be the belt I'd go for. I imagine you've done plenty of rounds with um, Galahad in the past. Is that right? I've not, no, um, I, I'm not to speak to, no, um, but no, I, we aren't sparred, no. Um, in all fairness, you don't choose, you don't choose his style unless you, un, unless you need, unless you needed him, um, it, that, that sort of style. Um, and you won't, you won't choose him, he's a nightmare for anyone. Um, but if he's got a world title, you snatch your hand off at it and, um, but yeah, you won't choose. You won't choose to fight Barry, um, and I'm looking forward to, to to the fight. I think they both come on massively from the first fight. I mean, that was, that was years ago. Um, I, I think it'll be a totally different fight. Both both a lot better. Fight. Both both world class. Both proven, and um, it's an hard one to choose. Does that mean you're not going to choose? <laughs> um. Uh, I think uh, it's hard. I mean, you can swing both ways, but um, you think I, uh, maybe Jazzy Dickens has got a little bit more momentum. He, 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 that golden contract beating quality fight. But then again, Barry beat that. That he beat, did beat a good fighter. So uh, I'd see on the fence. With, yeah, I mean, I bought, I bought, I'd happily get in with them both. Good stuff. Well, let's hope it all it all comes together. Um, Best of luck, obviously. When are you um, flying out? Um, it's what day is it today? Wednesday. Yeah. Tuesday. Fly out Tuesday. Um, Wayne Thursday. Fight Friday. So crash bang wallop. Um, <laughs> but at least we get to experience. Uh, well, like I said, we've been away many a time and, and going to Spain. Sticks to the box. Uh, we get to fight in this this pandemic. And to put a little bit of a, a cap on a, an horrible year for everybody, but for me personally, if I can end it with a end the lockdown stage with a, a European title to set up a big year 
keep my dreams alive and uh, and, and push on and put a, a bit of ice in on the on career I've had um, last last year and a half and uh, let's do it. Great stuff. Well, let's hope we can uh, catch up again after the fight when you've got a, a nice shiny new blue belt yeah. on your shoulder. I'll have, I'll have one on here and one on here next time. Good stuff. Yeah. Great. Cheers, Gavin. Nice one. Appreciate it, mate. Talk, man. Speak soon, yeah? Yeah, take care.